Hey, this is Shane Mason Ed, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to practice solving a word problem which involves the volume of a comb. So let's read the problem so we can determine what it is we are looking for. So the problem reads that the volume of a right cone equals 343 pi cubic centimeters. It is also given that the height of this cone is 21 centimeters. And what we have to do is use that information to determine the diameter length of that cone's base, which is a circle. So the first thing that we're going to do is state the formula that will give us the volume of a cone, which is V is equal to pi times radius squared times the height of that cone divided by 3. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the information that is given in the problem and plug it directly into the equation. So we're going to substitute V with the given volume of 343 pi, and we're going to set that equal to pi r squared. We don't know what the radius is. That is not given in the problem, so we have to leave the variable r in r for now. However, the height of the cone is given, and that is 21 centimeters, so we plug that in for h, and we divide everything on this side of the equation by 3. All right, the next step is we're going to simplify this equation a bit. So we're going to go off to the side here, and we're going to write 343 pi, which is the left-hand side of our equation. And over on the right-hand side, notice we have a 21 on the numerator side of our fraction bar and a 3 for the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to simplify just that piece right now. We're going to take 21 and divide it by 3, which is 7. So we're going to write 7 right after our equal sign, and then we're going to take everything that's left over, which is pi r squared, and write that after the 7. All right, now the next thing that we're going to do is, remember, we are looking for the diameter length. Now, if we know what the radius length is, we know what the diameter length is. Because whatever the radius is, we just double that, and that is the diameter. So we're really solving for r in this equation. So to isolate r, we're going to take 7 pi and move it to the other side of our equation. And we're going to do that by dividing everything on the right by 7 and pi. So 7 divided by 7 is 1 pi divided by pi is 1, so we have 1 times r squared left over on the side, which is radius squared. And we balance our equation by dividing this side by 7 pi. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to cancel out pi here, which leaves us with 343 divided by 7, which is 49. All right, now using a little mental math, we can see that if we plug 7 into radius, 7 times 7, or 7 squared, would produce 49. So the radius length is equal to 7. Now, if I wanted to show my work all the way, what I could do is just do the inverse of squaring something, which is to square root this side, and a square root and a square cancel out, and we take the square root of 49, which is 7. Now all we have to do is double the 7, and that would give us 14. So the diameter length of this cone is equal to 14 centimeters. And that's all there is to it. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.